Our missing series this week involves a young woman named Tiffany Johnson. She disappeared October 10th, 2016, the day she met her ex-boyfriend in a Texas parking lot. But many wonder if Tiffany really knew the man she was about to come face to face with, a man who is now spending the rest of his life behind bars. Correspondent Marky Martin joining us live tonight. Marky, I know you sat down with Tiffany's family this week and also talked to law enforcement who are working this case since the very beginning. And there's a lot we've learned about her disappearance. Hey, good evening, Marnie. Marnie, there certainly is. It's a chilling case. Tiffany Johnson was a beautiful, then 25-year-old woman who's been missing now since the fall of 2016. As you mentioned, the last person she was seen talking to was her ex-boyfriend at her apartment complex. We're here at that building right now. Well, now that ex is serving a life sentence behind bars for her aggravated kidnapping and Tiffany's disappearance, not the only disappearance he's been linked to. don't just disappear he's somewhere a parent should never have to bury a child but losing a child to the unknown having no body no answers is a different kind of hell i told him he ever heard her i'd kill him deb johnson is living that nightmare and this is where we ended up at almost six years ago her daughter tiffany vanished on an autumn night in texas at the hands of an ex to her family tiffany is known as pippy or kit kat the one whose dimpled smile could light up a room Her Instagram page paints the picture of a typical 25-year-old. Selfies, fun nights out with friends, quotes about love, and two seemingly happy photos with former boyfriend Christopher Reville, a man and relationship her family calls controlling. He was very jealous of Tiffany. Tiffany and I had conversations about Chris. If something didn't go his way, it was Tiffany's fault. He would tell her what to wear, what was appropriate to be with him, you know, how she should look, you know, don't wear makeup if you're out alone. They dated for about six months before Tiffany broke things off and tried moving on. <laughs> In October of 2016, Tiffany was hanging out with her twin brother and his girlfriend at their apartment near Fort Worth. A new guy she was spending time with was about to come over when Reville showed up instead. The two took what became a heated conversation outside. Tiffany hasn't been seen since. Lead detectives and investigators are looking at a 90 minute window. Sergeant John Phillips with the Fort Worth Police Department responded to the scene that night and has been on the case since the 911 call came in. It was a missing person. It was a probable kidnapping. It was all wrapped up in the, the relationship that, that they were in. Authorities found Tiffany's keys, her cell phone, and her sock in the parking lot. Reville had driven off but then returned to the scene. Once we started interviewing Chris, yes, we knew because, because of the answers that he was giving to the questions, we knew he was being deceptive about specific uh, events that let us be very suspicious that something bad had happened to Tiffany. Reville was arrested that night, and in 2019, he was convicted of Tiffany's aggravated kidnapping. But in a twisted turn of events, his sentencing, life behind bars, delivered after being connected to the disappearance of a second ex-girlfriend, 20-year-old Taliba Islam, who also disappeared from Fort Worth back in 2006. I can tell you that emotionally, myself and a lot of the detectives that worked on this case imagined them together. They've become inexorably linked because of the circumstances of their disappearance. Family across the country demanding justice. You're in hell. This is, it needs to stop. We need answers. We need Tiffany and to leave a home. Deb Johnson still talks about her daughter in the present tense, preferring to believe Tiffany is still alive. I just don't have that gut feeling yet. Time passes, the years go on, and she has no peace. Yeah, I don't go to part, you know, birthday parties or family functions. I've missed reunions. You know, it just, I can't do them because Tiffany loved them. 
She loved to be with her family. She loved to be with friends. And she's not there. And again, just to reiterate, Marnie, what is really bizarre, really strange about this case, you have two missing women, one man, one suspect, and not a single credible lead has come forward in all these years that either of them have gone missing. Taliba went missing 16 years ago, and Tiffany went missing almost six now. Marnie. Right, and Marky, the question is is not really who's responsible because that man is behind bars uh, for the rest of his life, but it's what happened to these two women. Police still investigating both of these cases. What do they believe happened to these women? Well, when you ask everybody involved, you know, wh what do you think happened in the case? It depends on who you ask. I'll start with the mom. If you ask Tiffany's mom, like we mentioned in the piece, she still talks about her daughter as though she's still living. She believes she's been sold into a sex trafficking ring. Obviously, a heinous thought for any mother to have, and if that's reality, uh, just a, hor a horrific reality for Tiffany to be living. You ask police what they believe happened, Marnie. They do think at this point they are looking for remains. And as Sergeant Phillips mentioned, they do imagine those two women have likely, if they are dead, have been buried together, with the thought being that if Christopher was behind this, if he buried uh, Taliba back 16 years ago and had luck in hiding her body, he likely would have returned to that exact same spot. So police do believe the two women are deceased at well, this just point. A nightmare Marnie. for both of these families, Marky. Um, talk a little bit about the area where Tiffany went missing. Um, is that close to where Taliba went missing? How far in proximity are these two cases related? Yeah, so, Marnie, this uh, this building, this complex right behind me, this is where Tiffany Johnson lived. This is the parking lot she went missing from. And it's interesting, you know, I, I mentioned in the piece, police are, are looking at a 90-minute window. He could not have gotten far. However, if you zoom out on a map here, you can maybe even tell here, there's a lot of wooded area. There are a lot of bodies of water. Part of the Trinity River what runs through here, uh, right next to Fort Worth. Uh, so he couldn't have gotten far, but there would be a lot of places uh, to hide the body. And uh, as far as exact distance, I can't exactly answer that, how far Taliba's case was from Tiffany's, but I can tell you both of them went missing from Fort Worth. So we're talking within what would likely be a 15 mile radius of one another. Marnie. Mm. Well, the answers are out there. And um, Marky, I know we're all on the case. Um, these families, more than anyone, want to know what happened. Thank you, Marky. Anyone with information on this case, please call the Fort Worth Police Department. We're going to put that number on your screen right now in the disappearance of Tiffany Johnson. And every single one of these cases that we cover, these people are important to the family and friends who want to know where they are. And we need your help to be telling these stories. If someone you love or you care about has gone missing, or you know of a case you think that our team should be looking into, you can submit a request on our website, newsnationnow.com slash missing. Also, we want you to stick around tonight because in just a couple of moments, we're gonna be answering your questions and inviting you into the discussion on this week's missing case and the disappearance of Tiffany Johnson. So take out your phone or your computer and you can log on right now to Facebook or YouTube and then follow or subscribe to News Nation, and then you can submit your questions and comments. Marky Martin will be joining me live here for this Facebook Live as we talk more about this case, uh, what police know, and there will be some, some details and also um, some interviews that you have not yet seen as part of our continuing coverage of tonight's missing case. So we'll see you shortly for that as soon as the show ends here. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.